I'm Tarek Lucy, and today we're going to talk about burnout. For more information, go to psychbikes.com. What is burnout? Burnout is a state of physical and emotional exhaustion due to overwork and stress that can lead to a feeling of ineffectiveness and a lack of meaning or purpose. Burnout is not a clinical diagnosis, therefore there aren't exact diagnostic criteria. However, some signs and symptoms of burnout include chronic fatigue, low job satisfaction regardless of achievements or accomplishments, irritability, difficulty concentrating, forgetfulness, becoming increasingly critical and or cynical, susceptibility to colds, headaches, fevers, and even anxiety and depression. Causes of burnout include overwork or feeling spread too thin, working in a dysfunctional environment, whether that may be being mi micromanaged by your boss or undermined by a supervisor or a colleague, a lack of work-life balance, so all work and no play. Let's say you're working from 7 in the morning till 7 in the evening and you have no time for anything else or any time for anything else. Uh, inability to influence decisions, so a lack of control over your day-to-day -day schedule or the tasks that you have or workload. Unclear job expectations, so poor management. Lack of social support, which is also known to be a buffer to burnout. So if you're lacking social support in your environment, then that can definitely be a cause of burnout. And last but not least, working in a helping profession. So healthcare professions, nurses, doctors, teaching, counseling, social work, these individuals are more susceptible due to the nature of their work. Later on in this episode, I will be sharing a few strategies and techniques to help you overcome burnout. So please stay tuned. Earlier, we discussed what burnout is. So now let's talk about some strategies and techniques to overcome burnout. First and foremost, you want to devise a plan of action to distinguish between stress and burnout. Stress is more acute and situational, while burnout is more chronic and ongoing. For example, let's say you're feeling overwhelmed at work because you can't seem to get all of your work done. Develop a realistic schedule that will allow you to get some work done each day until you're completely finished. If you complete all the tasks and still feel overwhelmed, then you're likely dealing with burnout. One thing you can do is learn to say no. If you're at full capacity and your boss asks you to do one more thing, be honest with her and tell her that you simply cannot take on any more tasks at this time. You can give her a future date or timeline for when you believe you will be able to take on more tasks, but saying yes only exacerbates the issue. Practice self-care. Do the things that rejuvenate and recharge you, whatever those things may be, whether that is spending time with friends, family, loved ones, going on a vacation or a weekend getaway, getting a massage, exercising, watching your favorite TV show, playing video games, anything that fits the mold. Explore stress-relieving activities. So there are specific research-based stress-relieving activities like yoga, guided meditation, progressive muscle relaxation, tai chi, which is an integrative flow form exercise that has meditative impacts. Another thing you can do is process your feelings with your support system. So whether that may be your family, friends, or maybe even a therapist, depending on how severe your burnout is. Prioritize sleep. As a mental health professional, I always challenge my clients to get their sleep in order, their diet, and their exercise. If you have these three things in order, then you're likely to be able to manage burnout. Exit strategy. If need be, cut your losses and go elsewhere. If the job you're doing is just not working out, find something else. I hope you've learned a bit about burnout, its signs and symptoms, its causes, and how to overcome it. For more information, feel free to go to psychbites.com.